As a global community, we've committed to achieving justice for all by 2030, as set out in SDG 16.3. But we will fail to achieve this collective ambition if we do not realise justice for children. Children in contact with justice systems are often amongst the most vulnerable and marginalised. This is particularly true for children who are deprived of liberty. Depriving children of liberty is almost never in their best interest. Our action to release of children from detention during the pandemic is crucial in accelerating progress around increased use of non-custodial measures for children in conflict with the law. If it is possible to release children from detention during the COVID pandemic, then it is equally possible to release children from detention where there is no global health emergency. With this global campaign, our interventions have supported immediate emergency release of hundreds of children in Africa, Eastern Europe, Latin America and the MENA region. We also laid the foundation for more resilient child justice system by issuing concrete guidance to frontline justice practitioners, in particular social workers, legal professionals and security forces. With those operational guidelines, we have precised how the role of professionals could be activated in facilitating children's access to non-custodial measures. The main objectives of the global campaign to accelerate the release of children in detention during COVID have been to call on states to release children deprived of liberty in criminal justice systems, build knowledge and mobilize interdisciplinary partnerships to implement non-custodial measures for these children and ensure their safe reintegration into families and communities and empower children in conflict with the law to claim their rights. Terre des Hommes a mené le plaidoyer auprès du ministère de la Justice et du Tribunal pour enfants afin de pouvoir obtenir la libération des enfants qui séjournent dans les prisons pour les protéger contre le Covid-19. J'ai vu un groupe de police qui s'était arrêté. Ils nous ont attrapés tous. Quand ils nous ont attrapés, ils nous ont envoyés directement. Ils, ont, ils nous ont mis dans leur coffre et nous ont envoyés à la gendarmerie. Mais les autres enfants, eux, leurs parents venaient les chercher et partaient à la maison. C'est ainsi qu'ils nous ont envoyés en prison en ville. Nous sommes restés là-bas. On ne mangeait pas bien. Les grandes personnes ne nous donnaient pas de chemises. Les chemises qu'on portait étaient déchirées. Tout ce qu'on portait était déchiré, ma chaussure même que je portais était déchiré, j'avais les plaies partout. La, les mouches venaient chasser sur mes plaies. J'avais des boutons aussi. J'ai vu un papier que la terre des hommes sont venus pour libérer tous les enfants qui sont du prison. Ils nous ont libérés tous. Quand ils nous ont libérés, nous sommes venus ici. Le projet aims at strengthening the multidisciplinary assessments for children release and their reintegration. It also focuses and takes the, the views of the children into account in order to make sure that their views are heard in the decisions that are taken in their relations and in their own life. So these children can have a role in deciding how their lives should be. Baker and McKenzie is especially proud to be a partner with Terre des Hommes in its efforts to lift up the community of multidisciplinary actors looking to strengthen, fortify, and realize child rights. We are honored to be able to be part of the community of pro bono professionals that Terre des Hommes Foundation engages in this work by helping to train and lift the capacity of workers around the world who are, want to learn and engage in international child rights standards. Unless advocates understand child rights standards, they can't help ensure standards are upheld for our most vulnerable children.